Off you go. I decided to take on the challenge and make a short film on the mythical creatures and supernatural beings. So that's stuff like witches and warlocks, werewolves, vampires, and I was going to bring in more unknown mythical creatures. So you've got like the Kanima, which is a werewolf thing essentially, but it turns into a lizard and loads of stories about that. When it came to filming this, things didn't go as planned. I had loads of things happen, actors couldn't be in it, and just everything didn't go as planned. The main character was just joining a British college, and he was in the middle of the school year, and just didn't want it to be like his last school experience. But he meets a nice girl and gets to know them. And then they're talking and he meets his, what I called a first day bully, who then turns out to be the main bad guy in the entire show. Charlie is the role of the girl that he met and went missing in the forest, as you will see in this scene shortly, um, and was supposedly killed, but I didn't get to film the scene where the body was found. I aimed for it to be on YouTube, but then I was also going for the company, the UK seasonal short film. I chose a little side platform off this one. It was. Um, where you have the freedom to do whatever you want. Um, there was no rules, it was just that it had to be under 40 minutes to be a short film or whatnot. And I went for YouTube just because everyone uses that nowadays. And if I had the chance to, I would have um, put like social media platforms up on like Instagram and TikTok and s stuff like that. The target audience for my project was going to be 13 to 24 year olds because they're the type of people you catch watching like teen dramas and romantic teen films. So the initial, like how I got the idea for my short film was I was watching the TV show Teen Wolf about like all the mythical creatures, not really more on the witches and vampires and stuff like that. But then um, I would catch my brother watching like vampire diaries and stuff like that, and that helped bring the vampire and witches aspect into my project. I, another reason I decided to go with this out of my three initial ideas was because it was more in the editing aspect of the course, and that's why I want to like be able to do better and just do as a general thing. In my research as well, uh, I use that to get the better of ideas. So I found like other TV shows and old books and just facts about the mythical creatures and things I could use about them and like how it, they all come together. So everything was going according to a plan, as I would say, until it got to that filming stage of my production. I was supposed to have like a good few characters, I think there was about six or seven characters in my thing, and I only had three or four characters end up being in my final production due to not having anyone available to film with me. This led me to filming absolutely everything in my short film in one day and editing it the next day to then manage time and get the evaluation and everything done afterwards. Has anyone got any questions? Are you happy with how anything went or not really? I was very happy with how everything before the filming went. The scripting, I spent loads of time on the script. Um, and it looked really nice and everything was going as exactly as planned and then the filming came along and it all went horrible. And then the evaluation, that went a bit better than I expected as well. I got to mention everything that happened when I was filming as well. 
So obviously a few things that like you said went didn't necessarily go to plan. What have you learned from it and how will you do things maybe differently with your future productions to ensure you don't have the same problems again? I will like get like backup actors, like I would ask someone to play the role and if they say yeah, I'll make sure I have someone like else in mind to play the role. Like if I had that with this production, um, it would have gone exactly as planned and it would have made more sense when it came to watching the production. Because one of the characters I had to get rid of, if she that character was in it, uh, her storyline would have like explained what was happening in the entire production. Do you feel like maybe you're a little bit over ambitious with the idea in terms? So you you talked about how you wanted to do like post production and things like that, and obviously having a narrative that's based around like mythical creatures is quite dependent on the mise en scène and how things look as well, isn't it? To to show that um, yeah, do you feel how do you th like do you feel like that's something you would have been able to convey uh i do think it was very like ambitious of an idea like i think i could have done with like something a little bit not that hard to do i guess um i just these other two ideas i had was one was just a radio drama and the other one was um a documentary and i chose the short film just because i liked the editing aspect and this was the idea I had and it was like spot on when it comes to editing. Like I would have had people's eyes changing colour and just that everything was gonna be more focused on the editing side. Yeah.